Alright, it's Saturday morning, roadkill day. So about, I don't know, it's almost 7 o'clock. So 7 o'clock we can go get on the street. So we got the cars iced up, fueled up, and carrying whatever we're going to bring in there to be able to mess with our car all day because we'll be locked over there kind of like an impound. So um, I think driver's meeting's at 10. Either we start racing at 10 or the driver's meeting's at 10. I don't know which one, but um, it's a staging deal for your parking spot. So when you go in, we always tend to go in too late. We're trying to go a little earlier this year so that we can be parked close to where the action is. So a lot of times we miss that we miss that initial rush and we end up up the hill and we gotta walk down to be able to see any of the action. So which is fine, except you don't get to see the action unless you walk down the hill. If you can get the good pit spots, you're right there watching the action as it's happening. So that's kinda what we're hoping for. So we'll see how the day goes. It's a beautiful day though. I mean it's it's actually cold. I'm kind of thinking that I need a hoodie, but I didn't even bring one. So, here's what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Gas, is it just the bed? That's what I wonder if it's drafting on the vent tube. I bet it is. I bet you it'll quit when you drive up there. Oh, it's coming out of the fuel pump. Is it? Yep. Out of the A, must be an A1000 right here. 2000? Yeah. yeah. Is that a loose line? Sorry. It feels like it's coming out of the, the split. Cycle the fuel pump again. Boom, oh, shut it off. It feels like it's just coming out of the where the silver meets the red. Cycle it go one more time. The, go grab the AN wrenches. The oh yeah, did we bring the bucket? No, I just brought the AN10. Okay, you wanna turn on real quick? coming right out of the main body. Yeah. The body really? of the fuel pump. That's what it feels like right at the... Yeah. Are the nuts loose? No. So that Q sitting in there overnight? Ate that O-ring out on that. It felt like it sure was coming right from the... Here, let me... So you can see it from the bottom? Let's just take the bottom panel off then. Alright, well I'm going to let you guys deal with that. I'm going to run to my shop because... You have a pump? I got another A2000. I don't know if I have an A2000 or just A1000. 1000 will do it for your day.
on tape. Not advisable. We'll see if it works or not. It's a emergency pinch. Do you want to call him and see if you found one before we go put this back together? what you call chip and seal. This is where they spray the road with tar and then they lay gravel and then they hope all the cars that drive over and smooth it out. And then some way, shape or form, we're supposed to be able to launch down this. So actually a gravel driveway would probably be better than this. But um, if it was like 90 a day, this would definitely peel up all over the place. I still think it will, because as soon as some cars grab this, like that's just going to come out, and that's just covering a big crack. So we'll see. Either way, you got to look at and say, hey, we get to race on Woodward Avenue, the first street, the first paved road in the U.S. It looks like they might not have repaved it since, but it is a, uh, it is the first paved road. So it'll be a good time no matter what. It's always fun. It's supposed to be 75 degrees today, so. Should be a nice day to hang out and have a good time. And then we'll just see who can get down the sketchiest road the best. So, probably won't be me. So, because <laughs> I don't know if I can kill enough power. Could be the shitbox. So, shitbox on the gates. I mean, it'll go right down this. So, I'm sure. Question is, will it be fast enough? Don't know. Depends on who goes down there. Shitbox kind of has an advantage on something like this because thousand horsepower That's pretty funny, that actually. <laughs> on the gates is probably only 800 horsepower which is probably pretty good with a nice big tire on it that she'll be able to launch on here so um, either way like I said be a good time we're curious on if the black flags down there are the finish line or not uh, if so it's it's probably only about a 500 foot well, 500 we'll foot track so we I might actually have to swap out for the Durango the Durango will go right down this so, and the Durango might do it faster than my car, but, um, but still sweet. Lots of cars already in here, all lined up along and, um, and coming in. I don't know if we got any video, but like the road closed. I mean, so literally this is a main thoroughfare in Detroit that like Woodward Avenue goes all the way from ends in Pontiac. It goes all the way to downtown Detroit. So this is also where the Woodward Dream Cruise will be next Saturday. Um, then you're gonna push every and it's crazy. The, They're rerouting all, all the traffic. The, rules, the road's closed about, about a mile up the road. It's closed for another mile down the road, and they're just rerouting everybody around this. So there's probably every Saturday, or the every, the Saturday when they do this, there is probably some very upset people that normally use this for a commute, but maybe they're used to it by now. But it's one day, good thing, and it's awesome that both the state of Michigan, Pontiac, everybody, M1, that they're able to do this because. I don't know anywhere else in the country where they're able to do this legitimately on the road um, for an event like this. So, very cool. Thanks for watching, guys.
no more you can take out, right? That's it. There you go. That's waste gates. We'll have to see. Maybe, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's super lazy, so leaving at 3,000 RPM versus uh, 4,800, what we normally leave at. So uh, 3,000 RPM, 15 degrees of timing out of it, and uh, whatever boost it makes on the wastegate, because not, we're not throwing anything at it at all. So it looked like it was still spun out there. It looked like it got a little, little loose out there, so maybe we'll just take a little more timing out of it out there and maybe raise up the, the two-step a little bit. It looked pretty... Uh, pretty solid there in the front half if I could pit a little bit harder so but all things said and done I mean a lot better than the first one we took it way down went to a 3,000 launch and took 15 degrees of timing out of it more out of it so I mean it was a pooch but I mean we're working backwards isn't working so therefore we keep taking it out and keep spinning the tires then we don't learn anything so wanted to back it way off just to try and get it to go down and um, so whatever I mean I'm sure slow as hell but I mean it went and then, but then when the timing ramped in, it ramped back in too quick. So then it started smoking the tires down track. So then, I mean, I just skirted it down to the end and I have no clue. Like, I mean, literally when you're slowing everything down so much, like you literally just end up clueless. You don't know what's going on. So, but that definitely was faster than the first pass I made. That I can pretty much guarantee. So, but. How it rates with everything i mean it really just comes down to who's the best at handling a track like that and that's not my experience so but either way it's a good time it's not too hot out and aiden's back at the aiden's back at the garage they're trying to put the brakes back together um on his car so he can come back out here and at least get a couple passes in um so hopefully they get that back together they're getting ready to call us up again so i mean this will be our third pass already, and I, I don't know how long this goes till till they have a break, but um, definitely good. Everything's moving along, so thanks, guys. down that time no problem whatsoever <laughs> unless you guys saw smoke or something I mean I don't know it spun right off the head and I said screw it and just I'll go down did the other guy stop because he couldn't see I just know I got to the end he wasn't anywhere I don't know what happened to him did he I was just trying to make sure I covered the whole grandstands did it go that way? Did it float that direction? All right, that's what I was hoping for. Pedal didn't want to have done anything, so the other one would have been better. So we just got to go back to what we were doing before and go back to that low one and maybe add a couple degrees in timing instead of 500 RPM. So. Nip 
them at the end. The right lane got near first. Okay. Around that one two, it actually left that time, so try and kill that, but it did get a little hairy because when it got when it got sideways and it was running towards the jersey barrier, so had to uh had to ease it back over a little bit. So but we'll see. Just don't want that power to come on a sudden because that's just not uh not good, especially when there's no traction out there. So but we'll see. Give it another whirl. So it's actually kind of cool because I mean, we've been here and like, we've been here and we've got two passes all day. Like, been here all day and only got two passes in. So like, at least, at least now we're getting more passes that we're able to do a little bit of learning and it making changes based on what's going on because, I mean, there's no real test for this because this surface doesn't exist anywhere else. So, but all in all, still a good time. Not overly hot, but great. right there but then he left it at two seconds so I don't even know maybe it wasn't a decent pass it's tough with uh, a car that makes this much horsepower trying to detune it this much and then you throw it on uh, like I said 12 year old tires that must have had our must have already had a drag week in them went down. This is what it is. I think we're probably, I'm sure we're all done. I don't think we qualified. It's so much easier getting this, like Aiden's car down. He's coming up here next round. It's so much easier getting that car down. It's amazing. Wait, we're both in? <laughs> Dang. All right. Sweet. We gotta go down and start it. Yep. Yep. All right, we're on the way. Let's just take this thing. All right. Can you guess Aiden and I both made it? Did Brian make it? Did he get a call? I doubt it. Gubby did. We didn't make a good run. Gubby made fourth. Whose coke is this? We're gonna do chip draw, pro ladder. Ladder carries all the way through. We're not gonna chip every round. So, uh, Chase is a race. What else we got? So, made the final eight, both Aiden and I did, so we're in line for the runoff. I actually have, uh, I got Joe Barry and uh, um, Aiden's got Grubby, so we'll see how this shakes out. And then uh, it's the same with like, uh, with Jimmer and the other guys, basically his crew, that they're racing each other. So uh, basically end up with a lot of people that uh, came together that basically end up, but it's kind of crazy because we're these four cars that were at my garage last night and we're in the final eight, so that's pretty good odds. So, but two of us are going home, or two of us are being eliminated. So, but um, that's where we stand. We'll see how it all works out. So, uh, all right, so here's what's up 
uh, it was brought to our attention the the way that the rules read is not the way that we did the ladder all right ladder is off of it's a pro ladder off of qualifying order and so it's not a for us. not a chip drop all right and I think what happened is that we all figured out who wanted to which lane or whatever so we'd figured it out but small tire maybe somebody said who gets lane choice and maybe that started maybe that had everybody start that to think be. I'm imagining yeah. because I said who has lane choice and they're like we don't have any clue well that question did come up up there and they said the faster tire would get lane choice oh okay so gotcha then they probably looked back and said oh the ladder okay but either way it's all good shuffles up a little bit I still have Joe so <laughs> nothing changed there so that stays status quo and Aiden now gets shimmer and who's Grubby good Grubby yeah, who you got now what? Who you got now? The Black Nova. This character. It's got me. believe me if I told you because it'll be a lie <laughs> no the tranny brake when I started bump and he made me release I can't reactivate I have to turn the race switch on and I couldn't think what I was doing and so I was trying to foot brake it and it just pushed it wasn't purposely I almost ran you down too well it got loose and I well no that's why I saw it and then I just kept going I mean, mine was a good tune up that like it would have went like good. But it was slippery. It, it was slippery that time though. Was it? Yeah, it was. Mine had the best traction in the day. Yeah, that was. It was slippery. Should have thrown more power at. <laughs> so, of course, did you win, Grub? Okay. Yeah, Grubby won. That was a very strange staging procedure for both. But for him to be waving everybody well, and nobody got the bump. It wasn't on purpose. It just I forgot because I was on the tranny brake, and I thought I was at the line well then he said he wouldn't let me he wanted me to pull forward more so once I hit it it locks it out so you have to reset start over the race switch and I didn't remember so then I tried to bring it up foot brake and it just then it just won <laughs> well it won but it was it wasn't it was errors it wasn't because it was and that's the thing is I had enough time to actually think about it and I could have sat there but I didn't want to do it because I'm like I want to go down the freaking track. So I was sure he was gonna go around me. I thought you were. So. I was waiting because I was watching the codes and I thought he's just gonna go around me. And then I I didn't think he went. I thought, damn it. So I look in the mirror and he's there and I thought, oh, how lucky was that? All right. Okay. All right. End of the day, we got everything back to the garage. It was a successful day for us. Uh, basically, the four cars have been parked here for the last couple days, or four of the eight cars in the finals. So. Can't beat that. Uh, Joe Barry cheated, but other than that, everything was pretty smooth. But no, actually his trans brake slipped and he went and I'd already committed before the race started that I was gonna follow him down. So all good. And 
Jimmer won again, so he won that he, two years ago when it happened. Jimmer won, so all in all, good day. Weather was beautiful. Yeah. Aiden did awesome. Yeah. Getting down the track, kept adding power to that car, and it just goes straight. As I'm sure you'll see in the videos. That, well, you already saw in the videos that you already watched. So my car finally came around on that last pass. It was actually that that was its best pass of the day. Um, so we kind of sort of figured everything out, but my 12-year-old tires is the culprit of all my problems. So if I'm going to do this again next year with 1.0, I need to get some 15-inch rims so that I can run the same tires that Steve went and looked in every car in the final eight, except me, had the exact same tire. So obviously that's a secret, secret weapon there. And 12-year-old tires, don't cut it. I mean, we made it cut it. So, but here's what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and we'll catch you later.